Hello everybody, my name is JJ Manu and I'm an application engineer at Arrow Electronics. In embedded programming, to communicate with components on the same bus, the A2C and the SPI bus as the most common ones. On Cypress website, videos already explain how to program the PSOC to be in slave mode. For our project, we will program the PSOC to be in master mode for the for the A2C and the SPI bus. In our final project, to control the motor, we will use the L6474, a stepper motor driver from ST Macroelectronics that is configured with an SPI bus. Regarding the A2C bus, we will communicate with a VL6180X that is a proximity sensor. This proximity sensor is based on time of flight technology that is able to measure a distance. We will use this property to control the speed of the motor in the final project. For the A2C, the schematic is very simple. Let's drag an A2C SCB mode that we configure as A2C master mode at 100 kHz, fast for the slow rest, and let's name the component A2C. We use Arduino boards that has a standard pinout. SCL corresponds to port 3 pin 5 and SDA corresponds to port 3 pin 4. It is easy to program because a lot of APIs are available. If we open the datasheet, all the APIs are explained. Before we can program, we need to see how we communicate with the VL6080X. We read the identification model ID register that is at the address 0. We should read B4 as default value. Then, we need to understand the information that must be exchanged with the sensors. The A2C address of the VL6080 is 29. We will perform a single location, single read. We simply need to send a write to the slave with the index, the address of the register, 0 in our case. Perform a stop condition and then perform a read to get the data. Following the given APIs, the program is simple. We initialize and start the A2C block. A2C master write buff method writes the reference data buffer to a specified slave address. We want a complete transfer from start to stop, so the transfer mode is A2C mode complete x fair. The A2C master send start method generates a start condition and sends at the specific slave address. Then, in a similar way, we plan to read the data from the specified slave address and place the data in the reference buffer and send the data in the bus. Finally, we clear the buffers to avoid an overflow after 10 reads. After a delay of one second, we perform a new read. Thanks to Arduino Shield, it is easy to connect a logic analyzer. As you can see on the screen, we receive B4 every second. In a similar way, let's program an SPI bus. To demonstrate, we use the stepper motor driver L6474 from ST. We want to read the configuration on address 18, that is 2E88. The communication is done thanks to an SPI bus. In our project, let's have an SPI block, SCB mode, that we configure as SPI, master mode at 1 MHz, Motorola mode, that is the standard one. TI is an SPI version too, so be careful. The datasheet of the L6474 states the SDI is sampled on the rising edge of the clock, and the SDO is latch on the falling edge of the clock. In SPI specification, that is translated by CPHA, equal 1 and CPOL equal 1. MSB must be first. After each byte transmission, the chip select must be raised high. That is the case. Let's build the project to have access to the APIs, like for the A2C example. Following the Arduino pinout, the SPI pins are port 0, pin 0, 1, 2, and 3. The program is just a few lines of code. First, we need to reset the device. Then we start the SPI component and we call the method setup default values L6474.
Following the L6474 specifications, we send the byte 38 that correspond to the function's get param of register 18. Then, two knob functions to receive the two bytes of the configuration register. The logic analyzer shows the right exchange end of packets and in debug mode, we will receive 2E88. The SPI bus works as expected and the PSOC communicated with the motor driver L6474.